And it is a former rental from First Stop Video. Printed on the 33rd week of 1981. Purchased from Blockbuster on December 14, 2000. And it looks like it was a former rental from another rental store before ending up at Blockbuster. That being First Stop Video. The, jo the Johnny Got His Gun Marketing and Distribution Company Incorporated presents Dalton Rumbo's Film Classic. Also purchased from Blockbuster on December 14, 2000. And originally from First Stop Video. Blockbuster labels upside down, as you can see there. Once again, purchased from Blockbuster on December 14, 2000. Yep, same date again. And all, and also previously former rental from First Hop Video before it ended up at Blockbuster, and the Blockbuster labels upside down on this one too. Printed on the tenth week of 1986, and from the looks of it, the Blockbuster label looks like it's peeling somewhat. Okay, and let's also tore some of the end label by trying to get the blockbuster label, the peeling blockbuster label off. Okay. Okay, and that, and that part really peeled off quite easy. The, the torn part of the end label. Let's see here. Yeah, apparently there's some residue on here from something. I'm not sure what, though. Anyways. Yeah, and even the inside of the case looks a little beat up. And it kind of smells a little off. Hmm, I wonder if that could be water damage. I mean, it could possibly be water damage because this was moldy when I first got it. 315 date, 1999. Whatever the print date is. If you know what the print date is, you let me know in the comments. 
yeah, like I said, this was moldy when I got, but I did try to clean it. I could show you a before and after. So there you go. This has the pound of the Baskervilles and out to launch. May 11, 1990. If you're confused, the overall printing say T dash four five dash MD dash four three seven five five dash two dash zero five one one nine zero dash B. I'm not sure if you can see it all that well, but there it is. Not for retail sales. It was a sports yeah a Sports Illustrated subscribers special gift. December thirtieth, nineteen ninety, and January tenth, nineteen ninety one. Sorry about that. Fully sponsored by Advantage, Dodge. February 12th and Valentine's Day, 1992. This is the 2000 version. Yeah, th as this has the Pillsbury commercial at the beginning. And this is a 1943 film reading 1970. And a former rental from First Stop video. And Blockbuster. There's no Blockbuster date on it, though. Okay. What is the print date on this? Assuming there is one. June 9th, 1987. Well, it's sponsored by Dodge, the performance division of Chrysler Motors. January 28, 1989, printed twice. This is kind of unusual, but I and I did upload this. If you want to see it, you can go check that out. It has these printings engraved right here? It says T 
dash 90 C. And then there's a bit more to it under the end label here. 99272. See, yep. T 90 C 99272. And if you see, and if you saw my upload of this, it has the color bar. You'll see it has the color bars at the beginning. Silent color bars, that is. It says Raiders of the Lost Harp and the Pearl of Wisdom. However, the tape inside is actually this. Big Bird Sings. I, and I did upload this in its entirety. If you want to go see that, go check it out. The 262nd day in 1995. If you know what the part date is, please let me know in the comments. Demo type. 59 day pay-per-view window. Trailer on keeping the faith, committed, and more. I uploaded the opening to this. If you would like to see that, you can go check that out. $25 million at the box office. June 11, 2000. Number 0H. Hologram. Unfortunately, the lid's kind of broken on this one, but I got it because for the first week of 2004, so this is a reprint. Yeah, the, the lid, yeah, the tape guard might be broken, but I still got, but I still couldn't pass it up because it's a later print from 2004. Hopefully it should still play fine. Despite the lid being broken. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it kind of looks a little like mold. I I don't know what it is. But it looks like there's something all over the film strip. Dirt, maybe? I don't know. Number 60. Eighth, yeah, ninth week in 1998 and eighth week in 2000. We have a recycle tape here. I have uploaded the opening to this. If you would like to see that, you can go check that out. Looks like a former rental because of that sticker. In fact, it is a former rental from Movie Gallery. No print date or any printings of any kind in that matter. And nothing in the vertical blanking area of all either. I did check this when I got it. Oh, and the, the 1999 copy of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. You know, this copy I showed you, this copy does not have anything on the vertical blank interval either. It didn't look like it had anything.
No print date, no printings. UK DVD. <laughs> Disc 1 is classified as 12 and Disc 2 is classified PG, as you saw there. That's interesting. You know, BBFC. Eco case. Um, when I went to ch check this just to see if it worked, it didn't really play. I even I was gonna rip these discs as ISOs to upload on Internet Archive, and apparently this one wasn't really going as it should because. Yeah, it's kind of scratched. Yeah, it's scratched to the point where it wouldn't even play properly. Eco case. So of all the discs, of all the really wild animals discs that I checked for playability, Wonders Down Under was the only one that wasn't really playing as it should. Hopefully I can try to find a way to deal with the scratches on that. Anyways, we have another ego case here. My first RCA Select Division CED video disc.
Now we go on to two tapes that I got from eBay. Starting with this one. This and the next one I ordered on November 16th. And they're both sealed. Not sure if you can see it, but it looks like there's a sticker under the label on this one. And these printings. Why don't I try reading these printings? Let's see. X six 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 X six 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 one eight three seven one five. T one three eight D T one 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 seven I and D dash wind dash both. At least I think that's what it says. But no actual print date or anything like that. And here's the other one. As you saw, this and wind are promotional copies. This one also looks like it has a sticker under the label. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can see that. But you can actually see what's on the sticker under the label. And it looks like it says STD. STD? Who in the right mind would print STD on a sticker on a VHS? Yeah. If that wasn't as bad, if it wasn't bad enough as, if it wasn't as bad as STD being the name of a game manufacturing company, you know, that, put out Game Boy accessories like the Handy Boy. Okay. These prints might be a little easier to read here. XXXX, XXXX, 189693, T128STD, P1191153, IND-Hero-US. And again, nothing on the tape guard. Featuring songs. Yeah, the featured songs. Pause if you want to read them before I show the the tape label. Featured songs from Jesus Christ Superstar, Evita, Octopussy, Blondel, and Chess. I do not see any printings on this one. Oh, except for this little 
36 right there. Yeah, I actually remember being t introduced to the Disney sing-along song series by my by one of my teachers in during my first year, like my first year or so at Alameda Elementary School. Yeah, Mary Beth McCormick. Yeah, she retired, as my mom told me like a month or so, or two ago but this was one of the but I remember she played sometimes played a good tape or so like for example something from the Disney sing along song series like I remember one that I remember watching was Disneyland fun <laughs> I think I remember, might remember this as well, but I also remember asking to watch the credits and seeing if there's anything else after the credits. And I remember there were at least two times where she let me do so. Um, let me see. The, um, looks like the 328th day in 1988. I don't know. Anyways, you know what to do if you let, you, if you know what the print date is. And here's the bar cut sticker. And a couple other tapes that I remember watching in my in that class. One thing. like like the 2003 VHS release of The Lion King, and and I remember one time she played the Barney a Day at the Beach. <laughs> Wasn't really. <laughs> well, if you'd like to know, I could probably explain on my Barney Collector channel. But I think I also remember watching the We Sing in Sillyville there as well. And if you remember one of my uploads, I also played the Toy Story Animated Storybook CD-ROM there in that class once. This has Berenstain Bears and Too Much Birthday and the Berenstain Bears to the rescue. September 8th, 1995. This has the same style printings as one of my copies of Dr. Seuss's ABC. The beginner book tape. Never heard of this. Never heard of Ask Oscar until found this and the next one. Narrated by Bill Audi. Avon. April 11, 1990, and something 18, 1990, looks like a typo of some sort. See? It says 001890. That's unusual, don't you think?
Another Avon tape. May 18, 1990. Okay, this has the Berenstain Bears and the Missing Dinosaur Bone. Bears in the Night and the Bear Detectives. Looks like a former library copy. Because of these stickers. One right here, and one right here. This must be a former library copy. And this appears to have a red-sided barcode. Hmm. And the film strip length looks kind of questionable. Is this an EP mode or an SP mode? Promotional copy, not for sale or rent. Yep, I got another Colony Trust Art demo tape today. This one I got at Goodwill. Wind and Hero I got from eBay. Okay, printings, XXX, XXX. 176656T116STDP10871 IND dash water dance both in parentheses. Hmm. Doesn't look like this has a sticker in the label, but Wind and Hero appear to have one. Yep, another copy of this feature length screener. Canadian distributor or Canadian distributor order date May 7, 1993, street date May 26, 1993. I might sell the other two copies I have. We'll see. Number 3 11th week in 1993 and a purple sided barcode. Also included on this tape, Don Quixote, or that's pronounced, and Noah's Ark. No print date, or any printings in that matter. March 16, 1995. Pause if you want to read the performances that are included. If you can even read them at all. This is a supply card from the Wildlife Conservation Society. And this, Sony Signatures. One hundred forty second day of nineteen ninety six. If you know what the project is, please let me know down in the comments below.
looks like another former library copy. This has the amazing bone, where the well, things are, goggles, and stone soup. And it comes with this little baby here. Classroom edition. And I do not see any printings on this tape. Includes Sylvester and the Magic Pebble and other storytime favorites. Looks like part of it's kind of the artwork's kind of ripped. These other storytime favorites include The Amazing Bone, Dr. DeSoto, and Brave Irene. Okay, and we have another one of these in here, these little booklets. Okay. An interview with William Stagg. Oh, it came from the Cherry Park Library, the David Douglas School District. Huh. So that's where I was from. No printings of any kind here, either. Number 22, where is 7 day in 1996? If you know what the print date is, you let me know in the comments. The 33rd week in January 22nd, 1997, and number 13. Includes Morris's Disappearing Bag and other Storytime Favorites. Those being Noisy Nora, Max's Chocolate Chicken, and Max's Christmas. Okay, this in here again, 
We got another one of these booklets. We can show off. Again, pause if you want to read any of these pages. Okay, it looks like a fold right there. Hopefully that shouldn't be that much of an issue. Nothing. No printing. Sealed, but it looks like the shrink wrap is kind of coming off right here. If you can see that, so might as well go ahead and take care of the rest of that while we're at this stage. There we go. Okay, overview of the cover art. label and the print date of looks like August 25th 1999 RC looks like it's what it says Includes Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Red Riding Hood, and the Three Little Pigs. Okay, and once again, no printings of any kind that I can see. You might remember in one of my community posts, I ordered the demo VHS of this film recently. From eBay. Um, number 96, I think? And the 26th week of 2000. Close up of the barcode here. This has Bob and the Bandstand, Roy and the Rockstar, and Bob on the Run. May 21st, 2003, number 41. There's a yellow sticker label on it. So... I suppose it probably wouldn't hurt to see if this was recycled from anything. Or if it was recycled from itself. Yeah, it looks like it was recycled from itself. So, might as well just cut to the chase and just 
go on to the next one. Says bracing muck, which is a never before seen, never seen before episode, and this also has mucky muck, Bob's barn raising, and muck's monster. August 13, 2003, number 00. zero. Please preview before using. Huh. Okay. This has Who's in Rabbit's House? The Beast of Monsieur Racine. However that's pronounced. The story about Ping and the great white man eating shark. See ya.